Hi, I would like to talk about very important theoretician who is Franz Fanon. Franz Fanon uh, is considered to be the pioneer of postcolonial uh, studies. I think what makes Fanon interesting is the way he combined psychology and politics with each other. Franz Fanon as a post-colonial thinker think that psychology is not psychology. Psychology is about psychopolitics. What is psychopolitics? Psychopolitics basically requires that individual must be aware of the political fact factors. As a matter of, as a matter of fact, uh, individual must be aware of uh, the relations the relations of power struggle, powers critically within the domain of uh, psychology. So psychology is about is about critical uh, uh, psychology is about to approach to approach uh, relations of power critically and why this is important because politics or the relations of power impacts us psychologically and personally. So as a result of this impact, we are internalizing and individualizing politics, relations of power. So that is why Franz Fanon is talking about psychopolitics rather than uh, rather than uh, just a mere uh, psychology. So, psychopolitics in the theory of Fanon obviously means that the politicization of psychology. So, in the minds of Fanon, psychology is not just about empirical research or theory. Psychology closely, intimately linked with socio-political and historical forces. So, Fanon thinks that if we understand psychopolitics. Uh, if we analyze politics psychopolitically, so this approach could open the way for individual 
to intervene or to make strategical intervention in political and the social lives. So Fanon also thinks that if we approach critically and psychologically to politics, maybe we could, our psychological experience could be or could open new ways in order to resist uh, political powers which aims to oppress us. So, in order to understand the relationship between uh, politics and psychology, uh, Fanon tries to explain uh, or tries to provide tries to provide a new framework for violence, power and subordination. So Fanon brings psychology to politics, brings politics to psychology. So it is almost no differences in the theory of Fanon. Uh, we could say that. Of course, who is Fanon? Fanon, Franz Fanon, uh, he is a psychiatrist, he is a revolutionary person, uh, he dedicated uh, all his life the liberation of Algeria from French colonial rule and he wrote the book called The Anatomy of uh, Algerian Independence War and most importantly he wrote two important books the first one is uh, Black Skin, White Masks and the other one The Rest of the Earth so in this, especially in these two works, the uh, black skin, white masks, and the rest of the earth, uh, they are works, in these works, Franz Fanon tries to provide psychopolitics. And in these works, uh, Franz Fanon provides a uh, very, very strong anti-colonialist uh, position. Uh, so, uh, basically, uh, Franz Fanon tries to explain post-colonial colonial situation. He thinks that getting independence doesn't solve the problem of colonialism. Even in post-colonial area, colonial subordination, colonial violence, and colonial power still have influence on colonized people. So, when we look at the theory of Franz Fanon, we see that Franz Fanon consider he makes distinction between colonialism 
and imperialism. According to Fanon, imperialism is a system, is an ideology, is an intellectual framework. But colonialism is the practice of imperialism. So imperialism is theory or ideology. On the other hand, uh, colonialism is it is practice. It is lived uh, version, concrete practice of imperialism. When we look at the psychopolitics of Fanon in post-colonial theory, basically he thinks that psychology is not a universal science. Psychology shouldn't make it is, uh, shouldn't make universal claim. So time and place is important. So all psychological theory must be grounded in historical context. Every psychological explanation limited with is within particular time and places. And also follow Fanon draws our attention to the variability or of human subjectivity. And the question of identity, the question of personality, cannot be thought of outside of specific social, historical, political, and economic context. So, individual exists only within particular social historical, political, and economical context. So, understanding or studying psychology means studying history, studying society, studying politics, and economics. So, I think that is a very important challenge. And very important idea in critical psychology. Basically, mainstream psychology studies individual, uh, studies individual without pay, ignoring cultural, uh, historical, economical, and political context. They think, psychology uh, think that just internal psychology matters. Economical psychology, social psychology, uh, historical psychology, political psychology, as if this area don't matter, you know. So, Fanon always draws our attention to the power relations, to politics, because he thinks that power structures, political structures, have shaping, formative influences on our psychology on our uh, on our uh, internal uh, 
life. Uh, Fanon he analyzed uh, power structures in colonial period and he said that uh, colonial power try to shape uh, a new individual according to their power relations and people in colonized society mostly they internalize the value and the personal values of uh, colonialists' power. So, so, I mean, people's personal psychology start to repeat, internalize, and makes uh, the political construction of psychology or personality uh, by colonialist powers as if it is their personality. It is as if it was their psychology. So, uh, And of course, the time when uh, Fanon lived, it is uh, the time when European colonialism dominated Africa, Asia, Middle East, and many other places. And he said that European colonialism has Eurocentric essence and they universalize uh, social sciences according to their Eurocentrism and European colonialism. So, first of all, Eurocentrism is not a universalist approach. Social science, uh, European version of social science, including psychology, cannot be uh, universalized. So, uh, Fanon said that Uh, every society, for example, black people, they must experience themselves as blacks, not Europeans, because they are not European. But they most of that the time, psychologically, their ideal, their objective is to become European or, or to to look like Europeans, but they are not. So, they must aware of their original psychology rather than trying to imitate and internalize uh, colonialist uh, psychology. So, Fanon argues that, for example, a black man 
cannot escape of being black. Blackness is a part of his psycho, his or her own psychology, personality. So he must, he or she must accept it. And if they don't accept their real identity, if they, if black people, for example, insist that no, they are not black, they are Europeans, they are like white people, and if they try to be psychologically, individually, personally. Uh, like white man, European man, they are not going to be. This way of approaching themselves at the end, it is going to be a very pathological, very neurotic situation. I mean, they, they, they are just pathologizing themselves. They are black, but they are saying they are not black, they are white. And they are going to be, it is not only pathology, alienation will be another important result. So, uh, The concept of alienation, uh, the concept of imitating or internalizing the values of colonialist people. So it, it is the source of violence. It is the source of subordination. So, if uh, if individual want to stop this pathology, this alienation, they must liberate themselves, first of all, psychologically from uh, colonialist political power. So, how can they uh, liberate themselves from this internal psychological colonialism? Fanon tell us that individual must develop a new ability to understand himself, herself, to understand psychologically uh, and internally in their original social, historical, and economical context. So, <laughs> what Fanon tried to say, it said, European colonialist power not only uh, colonized the countries, physically, geographically, but at the same time, they, are colon they were colonizing the mind and the psychology of the people. So, what Fanon is criticizing or challenging is colonizing the mind. So he thinks that, he said that, 
uh, uh, he said that if people if people who are colonized if they want to achieve real liberation in Algeria in Africa and in other parts of the world they must liberate their mind that is the way how a real uh, uh, a real uh, liberation uh, could come out so Fanon is talking another important idea he said that colonialist power systematically and deliberately say to people uh, who, who are under their uh, rule they say to them they say to them you have no personality you are nothing they deny their personality they say black people nothing people in Africa they have no identity only colonialist power they have identity so they depersonalize people so and they develop a psychological approach for these depersonalizations Fanon said to people black people you have to assert your unique personality you have to reject this depersonalization and uh, yes he said that you know uh, I mean, I think this point is quite important. You know, modern psychology basically interprets human behavior as a result of biological influences or environmental influences he said that human experience cannot be or human personality is not a result of genes brain system neuron and so on it is a result of poverty it is a result of violence it is a result of subordination poverty illiteracy violence uh, subordinations oppression they are real so without examining critically examining this real situation just saying you have this problem as a result of your gene 
or your brain system, neuron, or as a result of uh, the influence uh, of environment. He said, this is not, yeah, Fanon thinks that this is not a true psychological approach to human being. So what we learn from Fanon is something important. First, two things is important. First, the real human liberation start with psychological liberation. Psychology must not be a tool in the hands of political powers and authority. And the second thing is uh, human personality shaped under real uh, factors. There are real factors for human poverty for violence, for subordination. So, for real psychological liberation, we have to be, we have to understand, we have to un analyze the real economical, political, and social uh, conditions of our existence. Thank you.